The entire Department of Defense is getting a new medical record system. Here in the Midlands, that includes Fort Jackson and Sumter Shaw Air Force Base. News 19's Rachel Ripp tells us more. Out with the old and in with the new. A fresh medical record system is underway here at Moncrief Army Health Clinic. Genesis provides a better patient portal access so the patients can access their laboratory radiology results. They can communicate with their provider easier. The old system, called Alta, had its fair share of issues with a lack of inpatient data, a separate dental system, and other systems that didn't communicate well with each other. Now, dermatology, dental, and primary care can all be on a level playing field. But with any transition comes some growing pains. As September 24th comes along, what we call the go-live date, we will have some decreased access to a lot of appointments. Um, and this has been the case at every wave that rolls out. We generally have fewer scheduled appointments as we are learning how to use the new medical record system and as we really get a patient's entire health history built into the new medical record system. Appointments generally 20 minutes will be more like 40 minutes and access to appointments will be 50% less than normal. However, the Moncrief Clinic at Fort Jackson says this is temporary and in the meantime, they'll still have their acute care facility open. The facility has been planning for this. Trainees shouldn't notice any difference in care since recruits are already enrolled in Genesis. Reporting in Columbia, Rachel Ripp, News 19 WLTX. And according to the U.S. Army tonight, it takes roughly 90 days for health care teams to adjust to new systems and return to normal wait times. The VA is also looking to switch over to this medical records system.